What is good? What is up? It's Jordan or Texans Thoughts and I'm back with another Texans film breakdown. Today I'm going to be looking at tight end Jordan Thomas. Thomas has shown a lot of potential as a red zone weapon, he had 5 touchdowns as a rookie and his size is really something Watson looks for down on the goal line. He was the talk of training camp before last season but unfortunately injuries completely derailed his season and when he returned he looked even worse than as a rookie. But hopefully, after having time to recover and get fully healthy, he can get back to his rookie form and build off of that. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at his 5 touchdowns from his rookie season and seeing how he can be valuable for us in the future. I personally think he's on the brink of the roster because if you look at the tight ends, Fels is going to be the starter. He just got that new contract, right? Akins, he's been really great as the second tight end and H-back role. His job is for sure safe. I think he's more talented than Fels and should be tight end 1, but that's another discussion for another day. And so it's between Kahale Waring and Jordan Thomas. Now, Waring was a third round pick just last year, so it would be hard to give up on him. And in almost every press conference, Bill O'Brien has somehow mentioned Waring's name. So he kind of believes in him, and they're going to at least give him a chance. But whereas Jordan Thomas, he was just a sixth rounder. So if it comes down to it, he could be a cut a lot easier, and we wouldn't be wasting that valuable of capital compared to a third round pick. So we'll see what happens this season, but I just want to highlight the potential that Thomas brings. So if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on the video. Also, I would really love if y'all could check out the Texans Unfiltered website and podcast. We've got a ton of great content for you guys and are grinding, even though it's the offseason and there's not much going on. So all those will be linked in the description below. Would really appreciate it if you could check us out. All right, let's dive into the Jordan Thomas film because the film don't lie. So let's start with his first touchdown of the season. It came in the Miami Dolphins game where we exploded for 42 points. And I made a full video talking about this game. So if you want to check that out, it'll be linked right now. So let's look at this play here and how it's designed. So Jordan Thomas is going to have a corner route and Nuke is going to have just a crossing route. And we'll see here that as I play, you know, the play action fake to the running back, it really draws the defense in. And boom, then Jordan Thomas is just wide open. He doesn't have to do much here, but it's a good throw by Watson. And he leaves it up high. It's a good touch, but let's look at this. So, boom, all the defenders are just, they're crashing downhill. They're trying to stop Alfred Blue. I don't know why you need to crash down that hurt on Alfred Blue. It's Alfred Blue, but anyways. So, Thomas can just run right by them. Comes open on the corner route, and... Watson puts the touch on the ball to get over that linebacker kind of running behind him and just in front of the safety right here. And you can see that he puts it up high. It's kind of hard. I'm just, excuse me. Excuse the quality, but you can kind of see there that he's reaching up high for the ball. He's using that length and Watson loves to um, use length to his advantage and height in the red zone. He loves his big body targets. That's why Darren Fells balled out for us in the red zone as well. He loves to have that big tight end to use and last in the year before in 2018 it was thomas and then last year's fells so fells does get injured we have thomas and that's the main role that he can bring to the team just his pure size in the red zone it's a great thing to have to be able to body safeties or he's still quick enough to get by linebackers so he's kind of that mismatch weapon so now for the second touchdown of the game this one wasn't really predicated on thomas's size but just more about his ability to eventually get open he's, he's supposed to block on this play but then eventually he goes out and he just finds a good hole in the defense the defense is in zone here and so they don't have anyone actually manned up on him and you can see that right here he's just trying to block he's just blocking his left side of the field because the plays to the right they're trying to get fuller open here you can see that that they're trying to pick him off right there but nothing's open Deshaun Watson keeps on scrambling, he never gives up on the play, he keeps on fighting, and then boom, there, eventually, Thomas, he leaks out, gives one last block right there, and then he leaks out, just finds a little soft spot in the zone, settles in it, gives him a good window, like, this is a good window, he doesn't run too far to the left, because there's a guy there, so he's got to slow down, and he just sits, boom, easy. So just that, that nuance, as a rookie, was kind of great to see, just the awareness of having the chemistry with Deshaun Watson like that, and they were, they were on fire in the red zone together. They're a great duo, and maybe we can see that again if he gets the snaps and if he gets the opportunities in training camp. That's really where he's going to be able to win his snaps in the real games. If he can show up, if he can show his size and have another good training camp, because like I mentioned, he was the talk of training camp last year. Like people were talking about so much, like he was the next great tight end goat. Like it was crazy. And so I was really excited to see what he was going to bring. And it's too bad that we couldn't, we couldn't get to see it. Um, but he definitely has all the potential in his world. I mean, if you want to talk about athleticism, this dude played 
wide receiver at Mississippi State in college. He wasn't a tight end, he was wide receiver. Um, so yeah, he's huge, athletic, and got good hands. The size, like I mentioned before, and keep on mentioning, that's, that's his game, man. So it'll be fun to see what he can potentially bring. Now moving on to his next touchdown that came against the Denver Broncos, yet again in the red zone, and he runs a nice route here. He gets a little bit physical with the defender and just runs right past him. The linebacker here, he has no chance whatsoever. Like I said, he's bigger than safeties, but then he's quicker than, than linebackers. So he's just a match option. And this is even more apparent in the red zone when a lot of the time linebackers are manned up against linebackers like this because it's hard to cover the soft spots in the zones, which I showed in the touchdown before. So, and so boom, right here, it's his physicality, just to kind of give him a slight little shove, get off me. And then at this point, when you have a step on him, you're not gonna be able to catch him. Like he's an athletic dude. And so Watson gives him a perfect ball, leads him to the back pylon. And then I love this, the height and being able to go back and hands catch it. You have to hands catch as a tight end, in my opinion, because you have a lot of catches in traffic. And so this, you can see that the linebacker, he gets his hands up, he gets a hand into the catch point right there, but because Thomas is aggressive and fights back for it, he just pulls it in. He just snags it right out of the air. Like, that's my ball. He's taking that. You can't get that from him. So I love that. I love that out of Thomas. And you can, and it's just really apparent. I've been watching, I've been going back and watching Deshaun Watson's games all the way from 2017 to 2018. And one thing is apparent is in the red zone, a big thing that he leans on is size. It's why the red zone offense wasn't that great in 2018, and it's why it improved in 2019, because Darren Fells was just more consistent than Jordan Thomas was in getting open on plays like these. His size was a real weapon, and hopefully Jordan Thomas can get more consistent like this as he progresses, as he develops as a player, because, I don't know, I guess maybe people kind of forget these are sixth round picks, so the expectation shouldn't be that high, but because of all the hype he had last season, that's why he has the hype, but it'll be interesting to see how he gets better and if he can add anything more to his game, because today we're talking about all of his touchdowns and him in the receiving game, and specifically in the red zone, but it's his blocking that leaves a lot to be desired and kind of why he doesn't get on the field that much. His blocking is pretty atrocious, and I'm not going to look at it in this video because I just want to look at his red zone offense and his size as a, an advantage and his quickness against linebackers, but yeah, so that's definitely the major thing that he needs to work on. So I saved the best for last. I do think that this is his best route and his best touchdown of the 2018 season. It encapsulates a lot of things that I've been talking about, his size, his physicality, but then also his quickness and his catch radius and length. And just another good example of Watson liking to go to his size right here. Look how high he puts up the ball there. Only Thomas can get it and he's just a red zone weapon man so let's break this down a little bit slower here so we've got double slants from from nuke and demarius thomas on the back end of the play and then ryan griffin he'll be doing a block and release so he'll try and block someone he sees that he doesn't really have anyone to block and he just kind of releases out into the flat and just kind of sits there into the hole of the zone and then jordan thomas he's going to be running a corner route you know he killed on these corner routes if you haven't noticed already that's his money route and he runs it so nicely it's real physical and you know, you might call offense a PI, but they didn't call it on this one. So if they're not gonna call it, you can't complain. So let's see what he does here. He's de dealing with, boom, two jams. One right there and then one right there. You don't see a lot of guys get double jammed at the line of scrimmage, but the Browns know how much of a weapon he is in the red zone. And look at him just toss aside that DB. He's too strong, he's too big for safeties and too quick and fast for linebackers. I've been preaching that this entire time and here's just another example of it. He runs through two guys. I mean, he's like, screw your jam. And then I love how he, so he knows that this route needs to go outside. So if you can see, he releases this route inside to try and fake maybe a dig or a slant or just any inside crossing route. So that's what the cornerback or the safety has in mind. And look at him, he's leveraged so far inside. And at this point, you can really see he t he really takes that inside fake. Right there, his head and his entire body just goes flying inside as Thomas tosses him inside like a rag doll and just cuts outside, has good bursts to get open into the open space. And then Watson leads him really nicely. And like I said, he gives him a nice high throw, which we'll see from this view a little bit better. Is that your blue peppers? That's your blue peppers, who's actually turned out pretty good, but he gets tossed aside right here. Boom. Just see ya, buddy. And then boom, there's the high throw where only Thomas can get it. Because of his size here, if the ball was a little bit lower, okay, no, he has enough separation there. But on other throws, if he doesn't have as much separation and the ball is lower right in the numbers, then Peppers could have dove and broke this pass up. But because it's so high, literally only Thomas can get that. 
and that's why Watson loves the size so much because it can he can beat perfect coverage with the perfect throw and his ball placement is really really good that's perfect right there you can't ask for better and it's just great from Jordan Thomas like I said him and Watson had a pretty good chemistry in 2018 in their limited time together and they really clicked in this this stretch of games in the four games he had four touchdowns it was pretty crazy all right that'll do it for my jordan thomas film breakdown his size in the red zone is such a valuable weapon and he could really be a huge beneficiary of us losing hopkins there's gonna be more red zone targets for him he could be the eventual replacement for fells as he's aging and i can really see the texans wanting to bank on his potential so as always if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe for more content and comment down below your thoughts on the video one more time, really quickly, check out the description for the Texans Unfiltered website and podcast. If you like this type of film content, we've got a ton of articles that break down film. And every Tuesday at 9 central, we are live recording the podcast. So come hang out and enjoy, whether it's on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or even Twitch. Also, if you like the style of video film breakdowns, I make more of these on my YouTube channel, Texans Thoughts, which will be in the description as well. All right, this was Jordan or Texans Thoughts. Hope you enjoyed and come back for more. Take care, everyone.